We are talking about our students and homelessness. It's so hard to imagine. More than 33,000 students are enrolled in the Hector County School District. And get this, this year, nearly 2,000 of its students are experiencing homelessness. Well, Lily Beth Vias went to find out more. Lily Beth, how is the district helping these students out? Yeah, Crystal. Well, the district has a federal program in place called the McKinney Vento program. And here's what I learned about it. Our program is to have some kind of stability for them as far as education so the student continue to learn and be successful. For some children, going to school can be a safe haven, especially when they can't say for sure. They're not living in their own home. They have a place to call home. They're usually living with another family member. That's the majority of our families is they're doubled up. We do have a lot of families that are also living in RVs and we have found that at times they are doubled up too. The McKinney Vento Federal Program works to serve as a base by ensuring students who are homeless have the support they need to go to school. And out of the more than 33,000 students that are enrolled with the Ector County School District, its community outreach center says 2068. 2068 ECISD students are experiencing homelessness. Has that um, amount changed within recent years at all? Um, every year it seems to increase. So I feel like a lot of our families that are coming in are migrants. We had an influx of, um, of families coming in from south of the border. Um, and then the oil field also brings families uh, to Odessa and sometimes they come and then everything's expensive, rent is high. The way the district determines if a student and their family qualifies for the program depends on their answers too. Do you have proof of residence? That means your own home, usually a rent receipt, utility bill. And if they say no, then they're directly um, coming to our office. Once a family is identified as part of the McKinney Vento program. They are in the program for the entire school year, even if they um, get permanent housing. Let's say they come in and then four or five months later, they get their own place. It's an effort to provide some kind of stability for the children who seek a future in their education. Right, Crystal, so they also provide students with uniforms school supplies and they also have a food pantry um, where they help all of the students there who are enrolled in the McKinney Vento program.